Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Got another knife video for you. Today, we're going to look at something a little bit different. It's a Rough Rider Sous Chef Locking Packet Chef Prep Knife. Model number RR2196. Now I got this from Smoky Mountain Knife Works and it was only $16.99, so $17 for this knife. It was actually... A gift for my my daughter she was cooking she cooked us Thanksgiving dinner so I bought this and she does a lot of cooking so I bought this give it to her before Thanksgiving kind of as a thank you for cooking you know cooking the meal and I thought she'd use it but she didn't use it she forgot all about it and um so I don't have her expert opinion on how it worked but we'll do a little bit of testing with this. But yeah, this thing, this thing is so cool. We just open it up, look at it. It, this is not a small knife. I mean, I got some size comparisons, my larger knives, and you'll see. But yeah, this thing's pretty, pretty awesome. And at seventeen dollars, it's all this thing cost now it does have 440a steel for the blade which you know i have a bunch of rough rider traditionals 440a steel those things hold up you know they hold up pretty good i i, I guess i don't have a too much of an issue with this steel yeah i'll probably have to sharpen it for a little more often but yeah you got this nice Warren Cliff type style blade. It's got the Granton edge, meaning the dimples. I don't know if that's the right term or not, but Granton edge. But yeah, has these dimples, and that's supposed to, when you're cutting up vegetables, meat, and stuff, keep the food from sticking to the side of the knife. And it's supposed to cut through easier. Um, does have a thumb deployment hole, so like I showed, it's one hand open, and it's a lock back. Locks back here, and it locks locks solid. Um, yeah, this is it. Might well, it's such a long blade. Is it flexing? Let's do it up here might be just just a touch side to side absolutely none up and down yeah it's a pretty long thin blade so it does flex a little bit um g10 handles these are really nice kind of wood grain pattern to it and it kind of i don't know how it comes across on camera but kind of does look like black wood ebony wood of some kind but yeah stainless steel bolsters stainless steel liners you know it's a pretty hefty hefty knife um but yeah got some size comparisons and yeah i got my larger knives out here and i guess you'll see they don't even compare let's do the civivi backlash doesn't even come close. Let's do Betchmade Griptilian, full size. Makes the grip look tiny. Spiderco Paramilitary 2. Again, I thought the PM2 was a big knife and the, it looks like a little, little three inch, a little tiny knife compared to it. Now let's do the CJRB Centros. Again, it doesn't even come close. And go over the, just give you the specs here. <clears throat> the blade is 4.3 inches long. Um, so you got about, you got a four and do it down here. Just about four and a quarter inch 
cutting edge. Handle is 4.125. Overall length is 9.56. So over nine and a half inches. These are one inch squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just over nine and a half inches. And like I always say, we're extra large size gloves. You can see how much how much room I got. This thing's kinda kinda crazy. That's um they say the blade stock is 0 0.11. Check that. What? My calipers ain't coming close to. I got a zero point. I got a zero point seven. Oh, maybe, maybe back here. I got. It. These are very cheap calipers. I I only get. 0 0.073 you can see that it is pretty thin um, compare it to the paramilitary which is 0 0.137 you can see how much how much thinner that is it is pretty, it's pretty thin. Weight of this thing, it's got some, some weight to it. See what it weighs. 5.59, 5.6 ounces. Yeah. Just, it's heavy enough, big enough to, Feel, it feels good in hand. I mean, if this had a pocket clip, I would carry this. This is this is pretty cool. Um, you know, look at overall fit and finish. Got a satin finish on a blade. And if I didn't have fingerprints all over it, it's actually, it's very nice. Got a nice satin finish to it. Does show does show fingerprints. But the overall fit and finish of the scales and everything, you know, there's no gaps between the G10 and the bolsters and man. You got a slight gap down the back, but you get that with lock backs a little bit. The pins, man, they're just flush. You can't, you really can't hardly, hardly feel them. This thing is just heck of a cool looking knife, isn't it? So let's, um, let's do a little cut test now. Bring out a cutting board and the only thing I have is a, a pepper. So let's let's try this. Wow. That just I didn't push down hardly at all. I did because I cut part of the stem. But down through the pepper and This thing, well, that cuts nice. Yeah. Clean that up. This thing cuts, man. Of course, you know, pepper's not that tough, but, man, it just glides right through that. And I have nothing out here to wipe it off but my shirt, so... <laughs> 
Yeah. It chops chops the red pepper up pretty good. Now, it's stainless steel. It should hold up. You know, it's a folder. You could get stuff down in the pivot. I'm assuming you just kind of rinse it all off and wipe it off and it should be good. Now, I've seen a couple of videos where the pole's kind of kind of weak. This is yeah, this is a little bit weak. Yeah, it snaps back. It's not real strong. But you can't shake it out. Now with the this, you know, back spring, there's no way to shake this thing out. But yeah, just a quick video. Thought I'd show it to you. It's pretty cool if you if you need a good kitchen, you know, prep knife, $17. You can't go wrong with this. Um, I didn't point out it's got the double R and the bolsters. Lanyard hull, if you, that's a thing. I don't know if you'd want to hang this up and maybe hang things up in the kitchen. You can hang this up. But if you're going to someone's house and... You know, family gathering, like Thanksgiving, Easter, whatever, and you're gonna do some cooking. Yeah, you could, you could help prep prep the food. Take this with you, but yeah, I guess that's it for this. I just want, like I said, just want to show it to you. And as usual, if you like this video, hit the like button, leave a comment down below. What do you think of this thing? I I think it's cool. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and until the next video, bye.